Hey friends, today we are in the middle of a bathroom renovation project. Nothing major, we're just doing obviously some new paint, new trim, and one of the things we want to do here is add some gold accents. And what we're gonna be doing is mounting these towel racks. These are by Kohler. I'll put some links in the description box below if you could purchase something like this off of Amazon. And we're gonna be installing this rack here on this blank wall. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we've got the first one hung in the correct position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a vertical hang, meaning we're gonna have the second one that's gonna hang straight down here. And so the towels will basically be displayed above each other. So I got the first one in just to kind of test things out, make sure everything was gonna be going okay. The good news is we found a stud over here for this to anchor into. And then we had to use some of the drywall anchors to support this side. So the first thing we did was we wanted to see if there was a stud to go into. Again, it just anchors things in a little more securely if there's some wood underneath here instead of just the drywall. So we're gonna use a stud finder. Basically just push this button and you can move it along the wall. And as you can see, as you go over a stud, those lights begin to show up. And that let us know that there was something right here in the middle. Okay, so the next piece is to find kind of the height that we want the second one to hang at. And again, I like having the towels kind of on their hooks because this gives you a very good idea of how they're gonna hang once they're up on the wall. What we don't wanna do is have these things overlap or look dumb. So I think that's gonna be a general good idea. I'm gonna mark that general area right here just so we know height. Okay, as you can see, I've put a little mark on the wall there so we kind of know the general height. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this leveler. You can see it's pretty long here. I'm just gonna stick this up against the top and make sure that we get a nice level reading right about in there. And again, that is gonna give us the general area where the stud kind of goes down. We're gonna go look for that mark and I'm gonna mark this area right next to the leveler. Now here's the bracket system that this specific Kohler came with. Uh, basically this goes up onto the wall. So we're gonna be drilling, you know, basically right around here. Uh, since that's going to be the edge, and then we can anchor directly into the stud with the top as well as the bottom on this side. So this is that brass ring that goes over this little hanger, and basically that allows it to look really nice once it's on the wall. But as you can see, there's just a little bit of space between those two, so that's the room that I'm going to leave over here on the edge as we put this up. Now remember that right there is going to be flush, with where we want it, as well as the center for our, that line over there was kind of where we want the height. So that is basically where we're going to be drilling. So what I wanna do now, again, just leaving a little bit of room on the side there, making sure that center piece is right at the height that it needs to be. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that top area as well as the bottom area, and then we're going to drill a couple holes for our screws. Here we go, that bracket is now in place, ready to stick another one on the other side. Okay, so the best way to actually find where to drill the second hole in on this side is to actually temporarily put this on the right place here. Then we're gonna get a leveler out and we're gonna find where we need to put that other bracket. Okay, as you can see, we have our leveler up. It's nice and level. We have our other bracket, again, temporarily in place. I'm gonna mark those holes now and that'll give us a place to drill. Now these holes are a little bit larger because we're putting in those drywall anchors instead of just screws. There's no stud underneath here. Okay, let's pound in these drywall anchors. Make sure those are nice and flush. Here we go, we're ready to mount that bracket. Okay, second one is nice and secure on there. Let's put the bar up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our little gold caps and we put these right over and that just hides that bracket. We'll do that on both sides. And then we'll go ahead and put our rack into place. Again, there's a little screw thing that that goes on the bottom. And we're gonna put this little screw into those areas. So again, just make sure that screw hole is on the bottom. We'll stick this into place. And then we're gonna come down here on the bottom 
And with that little Allen key that's included in this specific package, we'll go ahead and stick these straight into here and give them a few turns to tighten them down. Okay, with both of those screws in the bottom, you can see this thing is nice and in place. Let's put that towel on. Okay, as you can see, our work here is complete. Now again, this tutorial was using these Kohler towel rack uh, hangers in gold, but most of these towel racks use a very similar system. You're gonna have a bracket that anchors into the wall, a cover, and then the rack that actually goes across. I hope this has helped, friends. Again, we'll put some links in the description box below. You can check out towel racks like this on Amazon if you'd like to purchase them. If this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned, we're making a whole bunch more DIY tutorial videos to make your life just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on the next one.